subscribe to all fellow friends and especially to my lecturer Dr. Shahida Binti Suhaimi. First of all, let me introduce myself first. I am Noor Anilia Natasha Binti Tamaro Bahrain from second year applied business student. So, in this video, I'm going to present about one of the topic from semiconductor courses which is photonic devices. In this presentation, I'm going to tell you about firstly the difference between optoelectronic and photonic, secondly the photonic devices, thirdly the wavelength areas, next the group of photonic devices, then the principle of operation, then the types of luminescence and lastly I'm going to tell you about the types of basic electronic transition. Okay, first of all, let's see the difference between the optoelectronic and photonic. Okay, photonic is calm from photon which is the smallest unit of light then photonic is generation process and manipulation of photon to achieve certain function then the signs of photonic includes generation emission transmission modulation signal processing, switching, amplification, and detection, or we call it as sensing of light. Okay, while optoelectronic are the study and application of electronic devices that source, detect, and control light. Okay, usually optoelectronic considered as subfield of photonic. Then, Optoelectronic devices are electrical to optical or optical to electrical transducer or instruments that use such devices in their operation and light often include visible and invisible radiation such as gamma rays, X-rays, ultraviolet and infrared. We're going to see what are the photonic devices. Photonic devices are the devices that work in principle based on light particles which call photons. This include the generation, emission, transmission, modulation, signal processing, switching, amplification, detection, and sensing of light. It covers all technical application of light over the whole spectrum from ultraviolet over the visible. In this slide, I'm going to continue to tell you about the wavelength areas of optoelectronic and photonic devices okay the radiation on type wavelength are started with radio microwave infrared ultraviolet x-ray and lastly is gamma ray okay basically there are three group of photonic devices the first group is optical display or we call it as light source. It is the device that can convert the electrical energy into optical radiation such as LED, LCD and semiconductor laser. Okay, the second group is the optical detectors or sensors. It is the device that can detect optical signal through electronic processes 
such as photoconductive and photoconductive detectors and photodiode. Okay, the third group or the last group is light energy sources, which which is the device that can convert the light energy into the electrical energy, such as the solar cells and photovoltaic cell. Slide, I'm gonna tell you about the principal operation. Basically, there are six principles that can be applied here. Okay, uh, let's see. The, the first one is that the light can be emitted when a material is stimulated by energy sources, which is known as luminescence. Okay, secondly, is that the luminescence is the emission of optical radiation such as UV, visible or infrared as a result of electron excitation of a material. Okay, the thirdly is incident photon creates electron hole pair in semiconductor material. Okay, the fourth one is if recombination process occurs directly, that means light is emitted. Okay, the fifth one is the direct recombination is a fast process. It is about 10 power of negative 8 seconds or less than it. Sometimes it's called as fluorescence. And lastly, if emission lasts for a few seconds or minute after the excitation is removed, it is a slow process which we call it as phosphorescence. Next, what are the types of luminescence based on its excitation sources? Okay, as we all know that light can be obtained when an electron of a lower energy state is excited into higher energy state, but then release its energy. Okay, there are many sources electron can be excited okay firstly is photoluminescence photoluminescence is when energy source come from photons which is excitation by optical radiation okay the secondly is electroluminescence electroluminescence is if electric field or current is used to produce emission okay the thirdly is cathodoluminescence if a solid is bombarded by electrons or cathode ray. Okay, the fourthly, which is the lastly, is radioluminescence. Radioluminescence is excitation by other fast particle or high energy radiation. Okay, in this slide, I'm gonna tell you about the three types of basic electronic transitions. Okay, the photonic emission can occur when electrons from higher energy state releasing its energy and fall into the lower energy state via either one of these transition. Okay, the first transition are the interband transition. It is intrinsic emission involving the energy higher than energy gap. Secondly, is transition involving chemical impurities or physical defect. It is the conduction band to acceptor, donor to valence band and donor to acceptor. The third one is intraband transition, also known as deceleration emission. It is the transition involving high energy electron into lower energy state within band. all from me i hope that you guys enjoy my presentation and thank you for watching